We're back on the Party Pontoon 2.0. Last episode we got the fencing all installed and it looks absolutely amazing. A lot of people liked it too, which is good to know. I do have something to address though because everyone commented about it in last episode about the whole front end steps and the fact that I don't have a uh, gate up here. And I knew that going into it. I didn't make these steps just for like no reason, you know. I made it to be functional for the bump stops and also look good. And you know, I don't, I can keep this trailer and use it for other boats. So, I mean, it's still practical. So I knew it going into it that I wasn't gonna have a gate in the front for, because the seat's gonna be in the way. This was my original design plan from the get go. You know, as soon as I started working on my new boat, I knew I wanted to have a wraparound seating. So I wasn't gonna use the front gate. But a lot of people were unhappy about that. Uh, it's a good thing this isn't their boat though. I know the sacrifice I'm making, I think it's gonna be worth it in the end and something that I really wanna do. But I will let you guys know that I'm not screwing this base into the floor. And the same thing with this the gate in the front I didn't bolt it straight into the the decking that way the next owner can have the option to remove this seat and put a gate in there I'm um, leaving it open for them but I want a seat there <laughs> that's the whole reason I'm doing this whole wraparound seating I understand that it seems weird that I built this whole double staircase thing when I don't have a gate in the front but I'm, it's still gonna be practical I can stand up here and get over on the seat it's not that big of a deal for me. Now that we got that out of the way, we can focus on this episode's build. And it's gonna be a first build for me. I haven't built one of these before. I am building a fire pit table for right here. My last boat had a fire pit. It was kind of controversial. I know a lot of people are a little iffy on having a fire on your boat, but this is a controlled fire pit. It only goes on when I'm not moving and it's it's, it's safe. I'll have a fire extinguisher available and if if it does something happens I can throw it over the water I'm gonna make it removable so you can just throw it over the water and <laughs> put it out I guess so it is gonna be somewhat safe and practical because I really enjoyed having a fire pit on there and having a bunch of cup holders and space for a table on my last pontoon the table was a single post with a little tabletop on it it was called floating fire it used to be a company they made a couple different kinds of fire pits for pontoons but that company is out of business and uh, they don't make them anymore. I was lucky enough to get mine from eBay used and that's the only reason I got it. But that was very lucky for me and I'm not gonna be able to find another one. So I'm gonna build my own. I'm gonna build it very similar to those and I'm also gonna make it somewhat easy. I'm trying to make it to where anyone can build this. I'm gonna show you guys how to build it. I'm not gonna use any kind of super special tools. I'm not gonna do any aluminum welding or anything. And I'm gonna list all the parts I use in my description. I would explain my game plan. I just have a mental picture of it going forward right now. So I'm gonna build the frame and everything and then I'll talk more about the design and <laughs> other stuff uh, I wish I could explain it better right now but I just I'm going into it blind I don't really have a game plan for this and it's the first time I'm learning how to do a lot of this stuff so uh, we'll learn together <laughs> we'll figure this out together here's everything I got in so far to build this fire pit aluminum tubing a controller to control the gas going in and out rocks the fire pit itself and also this tabletop it's called starboard and it's like a marine grade like tabletop material uh, weatherproof uh, sunproof <laughs> UV proof uh, it's a good board uh, it's not cheap just uh, go knowing that going into it but I wanted to build it out of something other than wood or um, or stainless steel or anything that's super heavy this is heavy but it's not as heavy as like a thick piece of wood would be and it's gonna last a lot longer than wood. I don't have a plan for the siding yet. I'm gonna need siding to cover it. That way you don't see the gas cylinder in the middle. Uh, I don't have a game plan for that yet, but we'll figure that out once we get the whole framing and everything else done. And then we can move on from there. So let's try to figure out this framing, get the measurements right, and then start building it.
they have a little bit of a mess, but the framing is done. Uh, I will admit this took a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, part of it is because I forgot to order, or I didn't order enough of these brackets. The reason I ordered brackets instead of welding it, like I said in the beginning of the video, is I'm trying to make this easy for everyone to make and not have to have like an aluminum welder or know how to weld in general. Um, it would be cheaper and it would be easier if you didn't know how to weld because this took a while to rivet us all in. But anyone can do this. This is fairly easy, just really time consuming. I didn't have a plan going into this for the framing, I just kind of went for it and this is what I came out with. This is tall enough that way I can get the gas cylinder out. I have a magnetic door that opens and closes. Hopefully I can make that kind of look flush and don't really notice it that much. Uh, made sure it doesn't get in the way of anything in the actual boat itself. So this is pretty sturdy as is, you know, I can sit on it and it'll be perfectly fine. I think welding it would definitely be the way to go if you want to make it 100% sturdy, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to make this easy for everyone. All the brackets and hardware are made out of aluminum or stainless steel, and that's for the longevity. I don't want anything made of steel that can rust or anything that's just going to wear away over time. I'm trying to make this last for a long time. So hinges are made out of stainless steel, some of the brackets are stainless steel, and then all these pieces are aluminum. This stuff isn't cheap, but it's going to last a long time, hopefully. I decided to use uh, rivets to hold it all together. Um, not really sure why I decided that. I think it's going to, I think it holds a lot better than screws, but uh, it definitely took a long time and my hands are very sore from doing it. So I think you can make your own decision if you want to use screws or pop rivets, but I think pop rivets will hold a little bit better. Top up here is all built so this could fit in here and slide in perfectly like that. And these vertical posts are made for this to bolt into. That way it has something sturdy to hold it up. This is the gas cylinder and the electric start. I think this is the hard part. So now that this is done, we can start moving on to the fun stuff, like the design on the outside. There's a couple different ideas I was going through. My original plan was to buy some aluminum sheeting, wrap it, and then I was gonna get the same kind of material as the seats and wrap it in that. Pontoon stuff sells the same material as the seats, so if you have something on your boat that they don't sell or remake, then you can have it rewrapped so it matches the rest of your new seating from pontoon stuff. So I was gonna do that, but I decided that was gonna be like a little too much. I think it was too much of the same stuff going out there, so I want something to stick out a little bit more. So then I decided to do like a backsplash, you know, like the rock you see in houses, like on a fire pit or a fireplace. Uh, I was thinking about doing something like that, and that was my original plan. So I went to Lowe's to buy some, and then I kind of underestimated how heavy it would be, and it was gonna be super heavy, so it wasn't very practical for something to put on the boat. So uh, I was trying to think of something else real quick while I was at Lowe's to do, and I was like, okay, I could wrap it in wood. I think that would look okay, but wood kind of takes away from the whole longevity. You know, wood's gonna rot and I just won't hold up as well as the rest of the framing. So I was walking around and I found this stuff. This is PVC boards that look exactly like wood, and, but they're made out of PVC. So they last long and they don't rot. And they're pretty lightweight too. I think they weigh a lot less than a piece of wood. So I bought different sizes to kind of piece it together, almost like shiplap. And I think it's gonna look really cool. This stuff is paintable too. So I'm gonna paint it um, a different color that kind of stands out from the rest of the seats. Uh, maybe like a darker, tan. Uh, we'll get to that once I piece it all together, but I think this is a good idea. So now I don't have to wrap the whole thing in aluminum sheeting, which is going to be expensive and also time consuming. This, is, this should be pretty easy and I think it was going to look really good. So I'm going to stack it up almost like shiplap and then maybe do some framing around it to make it look pretty cool. And then I have the countertop right here that's going to go on top and then it should be fairly simple from that. Uh, I think it's gonna look good. This is the best idea I could come up with and I want to tell you guys those other ideas too in case you guys wanted to use that idea for something else or maybe make it work with the same wrap material or same vinyl material as your seats. Uh, just other cool ideas if you guys want to use those but I think this is gonna work best for me and look the best I think. So let's go ahead and cut these things up and piece it together and let's please hope it looks good. <laughs>
game as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same as and laws, as and laws. Keep all your game as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same. As and laws, as and laws. done and it looks so good i was a little iffy going into it with the pvc stuff i didn't know if it was going to look kind of tacky but it looks pretty awesome it almost looks like store-bought and uh it just looks really good and i'm pretty impressed with myself there's a little bit of quirks around it um just something i had to do to get it to work and that's mainly with the door situation you can see right here it's notched out because the cup holder kind of gets in the way for closing and opening and also on the other side since i added this pvc board i couldn't open the door without like this thing pinching and so the door just wouldn't open so i had to add some hinges right here so this can kind of open up and then the door can open up without all this pinching in the way also had to notch this out because of the cup holder it's really just late planning i think you can work around it if you kind of had a better plan going into it uh, i kind of just winged this so <laughs> Uh, that's why I have to work around some stuff, but you won't see this because of the cup holders in the way and the hinges aren't really that big of a deal. I mean, some people may notice it, some people may not. And it's not like I'm going to be opening this that often, really just to turn on the gas and then close it right back. And I'm going to add some kind of magnet or something to keep this thing tight right there. That's one quirk. And also these cup holders are very tight just right here. Just not a whole lot of playroom you may notice this other board right here that was my original board and i had to order a second one that's why this video was delayed a little bit i had to order a little bit wider one because the cup holders wouldn't work and i couldn't move them in closer because all the framing and stuff is right there and i couldn't shorten and i couldn't make the framing smaller because then the gas cylinder wouldn't fit in there uh just a lot of give and takes kind of plan it out a little bit better than i did but it's pretty easy as long as you have all the parts now you could probably buy something very similar to this at the store, but it won't last. It's not made out of aluminum and it's not made out of plastics. It's something that's going to last for maybe a couple years on the boat, but this should last as long as the boat does. I have the rest of the cup holders. These ones aren't the ones that are staying in. I have some LED ones. I'm just waiting till I wire up the boat to wire those in. I have all those in, it's just, no, I'm not gonna wire it up right now since I don't have everything else wired up. A little problem with the gas right now, I think it might be in this because it only turns on the gas when I kind of push this in a little bit. And then once I let go, the gas stops. I think it's in this thing right here. So I might have to send this back. But the electric start works and that's about it. <laughs> all right, it's time to throw it all in the boat. But first I have the rest of my seats in. I have all the rest of the seats right here and the bases. So we can go ahead and throw the rest of it up there and see what it all looks like finished. I'm not gonna bolt any of this down yet. I'm gonna wait till I just start doing wiring and everything so I make sure it's all in the right place. But I'll give you guys an idea of what everything looks like up there, fully done.
doesn't it look so awesome <laughs> it looks so good uh, I'm just absolutely in love with it I couldn't have asked for it to come out any better I think if I were to wrap it in the same kind of material as this it would match a little bit more look a little bit more factory but this is a good statement piece one thing I'm wishing I did is I wish I did the whole cross barn style up on the front here I think it would look pretty cool if I did that I can go I can add it I have a lot of extra PVC wood so I can add that if I want to let me know if, what you guys think if I should add that also these seats look absolutely awesome I know a lot of people have been asking in comments they are not on their website this is pontoon stuff's luxury line seating it's not on their website yet along with their fencing if you want it early you got to email them and see if they have any in stock they have this option and also the gray option that was on my last pontoon boat like I said not on their website you have to email them or wait until it's on their website in a few months I got the captain's chair in too. I have the base and everything. I just don't have it installed. Just like everything else, nothing is bolted down yet. Probably in the next episode, I'll go ahead and start bolting all this down, getting a game plan for what else I wanna do. Probably start with wiring, maybe work on the motor, trying to clean that up. That's all for next episode. Also having a problem finding someone to build this upper deck. And I even scratched the idea of it collapsing because I just couldn't find anyone who wanted to build that. And let alone, I've only had like two emails back for people who were halfway interested in building it. And one of the prices was absolutely outrageous. It, he quoted me $19,000 to build it. And that wasn't even for the collapsing one. That was just for a normal stationary upper deck, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I can buy the brand new sea pontoons for that much. So I'm just waiting around trying to find the right person to build it and also something somewhat affordable. And if I can't find that, then we'll have to scratch the upper deck idea because I'm not spending $19,000 on an upper deck. Uh, hopefully I find someone. If you guys know anyone, leave that in the comments too or email me. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the fire pit. Do you like it? Do you think it's a dumb idea? <laughs> Would you do it? Uh, let me know. Like I said, I'm linking all the stuff that I used in my description, or at least most of it, all the important stuff. I still have to figure out what's wrong with this button because I have to like have it pushed in to get it to work. So I uh, might have to send that back and redo a little bit of it. But it looks pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there. I post a lot of behind the scenes. Uh, I've been a little lacking recently, but uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway soon. I'll probably give away something on my story or something like that. Follow me there if you want to. If not, I will catch you guys next week, and yeah, we'll find something to do. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys.